Well, the recent gas situation has certainly concentrated the mind among public and among politicians alike. It's shown that we've been operating on something of a knife edge, perhaps more so than most people realise. We've shifted to a heavy dependence on gas in recent years to reduce our carbon emissions, but that's led to something of an over-dependence on gas. And also gas that comes from countries with which we're perhaps not most comfortable as suppliers. It's also shown something else, that we have too little storage capacity for gas for the UK. Currently we can store only about 4% of our annual demand, and now the North Sea is running down, we really need more capacity to store a greater proportion of our gas uh, demand. So what do we need to do about it? Well, first of all, we do need something of a change in policy to reduce our dependence on gas and to make more use of other fuels, particularly coal. And to do that cleanly, we'll need to develop and roll out, at scale, carbon capture and storage technology so that we can store the CO2 that coal produces. Secondly, we'll need to develop and implement a wide range of renewable technologies. That's things like solar, wind, wave and so-called second-generation biofuels that don't compete with food supplies. And then third, we'll need to increase our storage capacity so that we can store a greater proportion of our annual demand for gas and for other forms of energy. Now all of that is going to demand a great deal of investment in technology and in skills. It's going to demand a lot of the engineering and science community. There's already a lot of talent in the energy sector, but we'll need a lot more of it in future chemical and process engineers, mechanical, civil, electrical engineers and technicians. There are some going to be some really fantastic career opportunities for young people that want to go into the energy sector and do something really worthwhile.